What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I just wanted to show you guys where the Pirates of the Caribbean build has been, what has happened to it since it has arrived back home. And it's not good news guys, but I'm going to let you guys see for yourself. So I hope you all enjoy. So as you guys can see here, the Pirates of the Caribbean build isn't looking like a Pirates of the Caribbean build anymore. This is what I opened it to when it arrived back through crate shipping. We got broken side panels. We've got all of these side bits which have been taken off all of this grass stuff that I carefully place to look really nice and neat on here has all been ripped off during shipping look at this i spent so much time on getting this skull detail it's all ripped to shreds my chain it's all gone all that's left on here now is bits of the glue and tiny bits of this stuff so i don't know it's just one of those things you know you spend so much time on building a pc and it's just arrived back like this if we move around the side here as well, we've got this panel down here. This thing's almost falling off. Like I could pretty much take that off right now if I wanted to. We've also got bits of the paint down the side, which have chipped away from it rubbing against the edges. Now, keeping in mind that I did not pack this myself, it arrived fine to the show, but coming home, it's just been ruined. It's all gotten scratched here, so paint has been chipped off, things like that. It's just a mess at the moment, um, which is a shame because I didn't get to take final photos of it the way I wanted to. I just didn't have time. I finished this build 2 a.m. the night before it had to be shipped off, and this is what we are left with. I might actually open up the uh, inside and show you guys what's in there. I have opened this up before and I did take the boat out because I just wanted to sort of show you guys outside of the build what's going on with the boat and what is happening with the tentacles as well. So I have opened it up. We did also drain a bit of the liquid, which was very helpful. Um, but it's just such a shame that all of this has happened. Look, you can see that this has also been squished down. So the whole panel's ruined. All of this green stuff has been pulled out as well. So it's just really not looking good for this build at the moment, but I wanna rebuild it guys because I didn't get the opportunity to take final photos of it. And this was a really cool build to work on. So what I'm actually thinking of doing is stripping back all of the paint on this build stripping the whole thing back and repainting it giving it all a new paint job i've ordered more green stuff so we're going to send that all back and we're just going to put new green stuff on there because i'm really really not happy with how it's um arrived back so we'll move down to the inside We've got lots of broken bits down the bottom there. As you can see on the inside, that green stuff did survive on the inside there, but still with how it's turned out, there is a lot to be fixed up. I wanna put the boat back in there and the tentacles on a clean surface. I also wanna get more blue in there so there is no air bubble down the bottom. And I would like to actually make the blue a part of a loop instead of just sitting in there like it is now. So we do have still a lot to go. I have tried to clean out a lot of the liquid in the tubes with some, um, just some clear distilled water. So we've got a lot to go here. This has all been pushed out of place down the bottom there it's all been pushed out and uh, as you can see we do have a broken piece as well off of one of our panels such a shame but it's all stuff that we can fix up i am just really annoyed about the skull for the majority of the part because this thing took us a long time to build this was a lot of detail work and it's uh 
shattered really, which is such a shame. This glue is going to be a pain, but hopefully just sanding all of this back and doing a brand new clean paint job will be enough to recover this system. So this whole front panel all needs new paint job. It's all been scratched and chipped. We've got um, all of this inside. There's just so much crap on top of this now. So I'm going to have to clean all of that up and just start fresh. I think that's just all we can do at the moment. It's just such a shame. Like these bends are so, so, so good. They look awesome. And we've just got all of this stuff that's ruined on the inside. Um, I really enjoyed doing this build as well. So it's definitely something I'm going to fix up over time because as I said, I still don't have final photos of it. And it's definitely something I would like to get, especially seems I spent so much time on it. Let's actually go have a look at the, um, the boat and where that is and the tentacles as well. And we'll see how they survived all of this shipping so as you guys can see right here tentacles did not hold up well they got smashed around and beaten within the case i actually came home to this tentacle smashed and lying on the ground all apart you can see that there's a massive chunk out here that's just all crushed so it's not as simple as just you know gluing the piece back on um such a shame that this happened but um Every single tentacle got damaged in some sort of way. This one was ripped from the boat. Um, and you can see there's a lot of glue on here because on the way to the event, this thing just ripped off and our only other option was to glue it back on. Unfortunately, it's just ruined the top of that. So I'm thinking about stripping that right back and um, redoing that so there's not all that glue over it because that looks pretty gross this one's probably the best surviving out of them we've had two of the uh, circle bits ripped off the suction cups and we do have this end bit which I did glue back on but that was all crushed as well um, such a shame for something like this to happen so all three tentacles got damaged however I did make two spares which are pretty much good to go. I've just got to obviously cut this one down shorter and this one a tiny bit as well. So I did make two spares, but all three are damaged. So I'll try and fix up the least damaged one. And then I've got two there ready to go as well. Then we have the boat. Here's where the uh, tentacle was ripped off. So we've got a massive, massive spot right here, which is ruined. So I'm gonna sand the boat right back and give it a new paint job. Some of the water actually leaked onto the boat and it's ruined the paint job. You can see like all of this right here, it's got like a rough texture to it now um, cause it got bumped around so much in postage that uh, the back reservoir actually fell off and some of the liquid leaked throughout the system. I don't know what happened during postage, but it was pretty bad. And we've got the whole bottom here, and that's just all come off as well. All from that liquid that's leaked onto it. And it's just absolutely ruins the paint job, which um, is such a shame. You can see there's a massive gouge and scrape down the side there. So I'm going to have to just take that right back, give it a new paint job. I'm probably not going to use that... Um, paint that I did use because it's so expensive and it gave it a nice rust effect so I'm just gonna have to paint the details on myself because I just can't afford to use that paint again which is such a shame because I didn't get final photos of this whole build but yeah that's the tentacles guys as they stand you can imagine that um, I was quite devastated when I came home to see my build in this state especially knowing that all of this could have been prevented with some um good packaging and that but never mind it is fixable it's not the end of the world so we're going to fix that up get some nice final footage i'd love to do a proper final video for you guys i didn't get to you know do my awesome sort of pans and slides and stuff um because all because I finished the build at 2 a.m. and then it went straight to Computex. So all the final footage was from Computex and that was really dim in there. The lighting wasn't really good 
for me to get some final photos, especially with the glass being tempered, so you guys couldn't actually see the inside, and it wasn't finished to the standard that I wanted it. Um, like, I still wanted another loop in there, but I just didn't have the time. And if we come around the front here, you can actually see that the side rails on the boat on this side have been knocked out. So we're gonna have to make some new ones of them. These ones are still on. I did have to re-glue this one on. I have no idea where these ones are. Somehow they've fallen somewhere. They're not within the build, so who knows? But I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update um, as to where the parts of the Caribbean build was right now. I would love to take it to PAX. That was the whole plan. It's just whether or not I can get all of this finish in time, um, which is, sucks and is very unfortunate because I did spend a lot of time on this. Hopefully I can get it all done by then. It should, shouldn't be too much of an issue, but hopefully you guys do stick around and enjoy the uh, content. I am going to try and vary the build up a bit, but um, yeah, I'm just really, just really bummed out at the moment of how it's turned up. Anyway guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this quick video. I just really wanted to show you guys where it was at. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Uh, please leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. Check out more videos on the channel. We do have lots of custom PCs, reviews and tutorials. So hopefully you can find some joy in watching those as well. And we'll see you guys in the next one.